and you're still watching Business Nigeria, fresh out from the National Bureau of Statistics, uh, the GDP numbers for Q1 2016 and the unemployment figures. And basically, before I even give you the numbers, I ran a poll on Twitter asking what people thought that uh, the GDP for Q1 will come in at. And we saw that 31% uh, of the respondents actually said sub 0%. And guess what? They were right. Because the numbers came in at minus 0.36% for the first quarter of 2016. The lowest in over 20 years. Also, we're seeing that happening for the unemployment figures, which have gone to the highest possibly ever. Well, I'm going to be talking with Ugo Dre Obichuku, a financial analyst and an economic commentator, and also the publisher of Nara Metrics uh, blog. Uh, we'll be talking about basically the numbers from the National Bureau of Statistics. Now, Ugo Dre, give me uh, a basic understanding of um, what was your first reaction when you saw those numbers? Well, um, <laughs> I wouldn't say I was surprised. I, I ah. think it was, um, it was expected. Um, looking at the, I mean, the first quarter of this year, it's probably one of the worst, mm -hmm. you know, um, for the economy. So you could see that, you know, we had all sorts of interruptions from um, um, falling oil prices. I mean, I think January or so was probably, you know, mm -hmm. the bottom. And uh, we also had um, uh, budget delays and all that. So, yeah, I mean, it was expected that True. that GDP numbers coming in would, would be quite, quite low. I mean, it's probably a surprise for a lot of people. Now, um... How exactly did we go from being in the 7% club to being on the brink of recession as an economy? Well, uh, it's a combination of a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. Very vicious um, um, combination. You've had um, um, falling oil prices. And uh, yes, we're in the 7% club, but you know, we're also in a club of uh, countries that are mostly oil producing. So, for uh, I, I mean, also in a, in a club of countries that are commodity based. So, if you're a commodity based economy and oil producing economy, then I mean, you'd expect that with the fall, you know, in oil prices, your your numbers are you know going to start to go start to go down. So that is what has happened to Nigeria. I mean, so for over I, I think we're probably in the 16th 16th month or I think 20th month. You know, oil prices have been dropping and only just started picking up uh, a few weeks ago. So. Uh, with oil prices dropping and then you know impacting our revenues negatively uh, government spending has basically basically dropped and with government spending dropping you know consumer spending is also taking a hit so what we've seen is i mean what this has just shown everybody is that this economy really really is you know oil based and you know with prices uh, with um, um, the price of oil falling down drastically as drastically as it has GDP mm. numbers are bound to go down. So, I mean, this calls for, this is, you know, more reason why diversi diversifying, diversifying the economy is, you know, you don't, you need it. I mean, if there's any reason or any doubt in your mind about diversifying the economy, then, I mean, that doubt should be dead now. Part of the reasons why uh, a lot of people looked at Nigeria as the investment destination was our growth story. Now that we're on the brink of recession, and then we saw issues with JP Morgan exit, uh, removing Nigeria from his emerging mar uh, bond market index, and also MSCI almost kicking, off or kicking us off the index. There's talk about uh, devaluation or not devaluation. And um, at this point, we're going into negative territories with GDP. What do you think is the response from the global community, especially as, invest as it concerns investing in Nigeria? Okay, so the global economy are going to be looking at two things. I mean, um, one is what's the fundamental for this country? Okay, is this still the largest economy in Africa? Uh, what is happening now? Is it you know fundamental or is it just um, um, something that's really out of the control of of the, uh, the 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 country? And then they're also going to be looking at the response of the government to all of this. You know, so um, now if you look at the first one, you know, is this fundamental? Uh, I mean, what's the fundamental of the, of the country? The economy is still the largest in Africa. There's still a market. The market is still huge. You, you can't but um, you know, still look at this market and, and, and not salivate, right? Uh, you still have you know, um, investors still coming in, I mean, especially FDIs coming in. So for FPIs, they're probably the ones that probably want to stay back a little bit and try to see what the government is going to do. But FDIs are definitely in looking at and saying, hey, is this an opportunity? Is this the best time to come in now into mm -hmm. this country now that things are, th are that bad? Um, the investors around the world look at growth. I mean, growth is basically um, 
and uh, uh, you know what you, an indicator for where you know you're yeah, going to you're gonna invest yeah. in. So with with us getting into negative GDP, the next thing on your mind now is, are we going to see is it, are we going to see a repeat of a negative GDP? So which is basically a recession. Is a recession coming into this country anytime soon? Are they going to announce a recession very soon? Uh -huh. So you're looking at that and you're worrying. But then you look at the fundamentals of the economy again. You look at the this is the largest economy in, in Africa, and you've got the population and you've got the market. So there's every likelihood that things are going to bounce back. And you remember um, sometime in 1984, coincidentally, when Buhari was was, uh -huh. was military head of state. I was going to say that. You know, in, uh, uh, GDP numbers were, were minus 2% back then, uh, in then. And then the next year, 1985, GDP numbers jumped to, to about 8%. Okay, so uh, the, 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 the upside of you know, starting from negative GDP is that when you reverse, you can actually you grow, very, grow fast. very fast, especially for a developing economy. So uh, I, I look at this and, I, and I'm saying, well, investors are looking at it and like, okay, let's see the response of the government. So that is what is really key. How mm. does the government respond, respond to, this? to yeah. all of this? Are they going to now lose in some of the capital controls that they've had in place? Are, they, are, we, now gonna, are we now looking at you know, ushering in a full-blown market economy where all sorts of subsidies are eliminated and, and you know, and, um, and all sorts of controls Those or price removed, controls yeah. and all that are removed. Is that what they're going to do? So, you know, the market is going to look at that. Okay, finally, um, we're still in the middle of trading day. What do you think is going to happen at the end of today's market? Because basically we're seeing the situation where um, market sentiment is going to come in, kick in, unemployment very high, GDP very low. How do you think market participants are going to respond today? Um, if, you're, if you're talking about the market, if you're referring to the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Nigerian Stock Exchange can be quite, I mean, it's difficult to really predict how you know, investors will, will react. react. But yeah. my, 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 uh, my prediction, I mean, if you ask me to predict, is that you know, no markets are really going to go down. I'm looking at all red. It's probably going to be all red. Mm. Um, by the close of uh, the Business. Monday year. Yeah. So it's probably going to be a very, very tough uh, week. Remember, we are coming on the back of a week where we had a lot of bullish runs, where stocks have you know, basically um, you know, been riding on you know, um, bullish runs. So investors are probably going to want to you know, do a lot of profit taking because people are now cautious, people are now waiting to see what the government's response would be. And so if the government bungles this, then you expect the market to even go further south. Wow, you heard it, and uh, we've been speaking with uh, Ugodre Obichuku, who is a financial analyst, an economic commentator, and the publisher of narrowmetrics.com. Thank you very much for being with us on the show. Great it is there. still Business Nigeria. Do stay with us. We'll be right back after this short break. Thank you.